Sir. Clearly, it is vital that the enormous amounts of personal data that are collected by government departments and private companies must be safeguarded. I have had a number of complaints to me about people's personal data being abused by companies and, indeed, uh, from the public sector it being sold to uh, companies who then use it. Just this weekend, our GLA candidate had his phone hacked and his social media destroyed. That is equally important as a demonstration of what can happen to democracy when data is abused. So can my honourable friend take further action to safeguard people's personal data? Well, I, I thank him for highlighting that case, and I, I regret uh, what's happened to the GLA candidate. Uh, and it, it does uh, highlight some of the risks that we all carry uh, it, in relation to technology. Um, that's why we have a very high data protection standards, but also we, there's a range of ways in which we need to tackle this problem. We have the national cyber uh, strategy, which is working to make sure that we can deal with the cyber threats that we face. We're taking uh, measures to uh, protect our data infrastructure. Uh, to, we're trying to do things to stop fraud in the national uh, th stop think fraud strategy. Uh, and new laws on security of devices like connected devices. So there's a whole range of things we need to do, but we need to keep making sure that we're vigilant about the risks.